Welcome back. You're watching the big headlines today, exclusive at this moment. Chennai Super Kings has been valued by their own self at 5 lakh rupees. That's, that's really what uh, this story is all about. The controversy revolves around the valuation of Chennai Super Kings, a team which has won the IPL twice, has been the runner-up thrice, boasts of stars like Mahendra Singh Dhoni, Ravinder Jadeja, Brendan McCullum and Michael Hussey bought for crores and crores of rupees. This team has been valued by its owners at just 5 lakh rupees. Yes, you heard it right, 5 lakh rupees. Absurd as it may sound, that's the amount the team was sold by India Cements to a subsidiary in February this year. Now that was our exclusive number one. Exclusive number two is the fact that IPL Governing Council this Monday in their meeting have refused to accept this valuation and has not ratified the sale of the Chennai Super Kings. According to the rules, the Board of Control for Cricket in India rules state that 5% of the team sale price must be given to the board and this valuation would mean the board earns just 25,000 rupees from the CSK team sale. Shockingly, the old council did not question the absurd price. It was only after the new IPL council took charge under the Supreme Court directions that the issue was red flagged in a meeting two days ago on Monday. Headlines today has the minutes of the old council meet to prove how everyone towed a certain line the owner's valuation comes even as a US-based consultancy valued the team at over 450 crore rupees last year. So last year's value, 450 crores. This year's value, 5 lakh rupees. What explains this massive depreciation of value as far as the owners of the Chennai Super Kings is concerned? We have Chetan Chauhan in the studio. Mr. Chauhan, you were raising some very pertinent questions at this moment and you mm -hmm. wanted Boria to actually come in and explain the ownership pattern of Chennai Super Kings. If you would like to pose that question to Boria. Yeah, Boria, I just want to know whether this is a private limited company or a public limited company because, uh, you know, the interest immediately changes because the private limited company is usually amongst the, uh, amongst the, the directors are relatives or they are clo very close, close friends and it's a very closely held company. Uh, whereas the public limited company, you know, the shareholders are there spread all over the country or maybe outside the country also so that interest is much larger so that is what I wanted to know you know before uh, really making any comment on this Boya would you like to take that Sanket before yeah before I answer that question I could actually see on my screen uh, Mr. Chima nodding he is the corporate expert take the answer yes. from him I will give you the layman's answer in 10 seconds but take take it from Mr. Chima first okay Mr. Chima uh, Sanket I think yeah. Sankit, I would like to make three short points. Hmm. I think number one, you have already shared with us a valuation report of last year from an uh, from an entity which is based out of India. Uh, but what BCCI and to settle all this controversy, we could we could now get an independent valuer to value this business of CSK. It has to be a credible valuer, you know, as Chetan was mentioning earlier, if it's a public limited company, there are registered, semi-registered merchant bankers who value these things, they're independent. The second point that I want to make is that whatever valuation is done, it has to be done at arm's length. So, and third point that I want to make is that the whole controversy started from a conflict of interest situation. It should not end up into another conflict of interest situation. So it has to be done by an independent valuer, it has to be done at an arm's length and there should be no conflict of interest. Because as Board of Directors of India Cements, under Section 166 of the Companies Act, they have a fiduciary duty to not only directly but also indirectly have any conflict of interest. So I think that is very important and once we know better about how this whole thing has been structured, I think I'll be able to respond better. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Mr. Chima. Uh, let me let me bring in Mr. Desai at this moment. Uh, Sanket, Mr. Rajiv, can I come in now? Uh, okay. Okay, Boria. I'll, we'll take a, a short answer from you and then we'll go across to brand consultant Mr. Rajiv Desai. Boria, over to you. Okay. Uh, you know, I am in entire agreement with Mr. Chima. Two points very quickly, Sanket. One, the BCCI wanted Amarchand Mangaldas to be that independent valuer and put a value to it. 
from what I understand, this valuation of 5 lakhs has not been substantiated by any valuation done by an independent valuer. That is why people objected to it and said this is not done. Please remember, the last two IPL teams were sold for 1700 crores and 1500 crores respectively. So Chennai Super Kings being the most successful franchise, what will its value be? Will its value be anything under five, between 500 and 1000 crores or will it be 5 lakhs? That's it. The point is very simple. The board has lost 50 crores as a result of this. <coughs> okay, the board has lost uh, 50 crores. Let me get in Mr. Rajiv Desai. Mr. Desai, last year an independent valuation of this team was at 450 crore rupees. What can possibly explain and what can actually possibly explain the fact that this year, after a year, the team has come down to 5 lakh rupees and according to their own calculation? Well, it's very, very difficult to say. I, you know that. Um, they have their own reasons. Um, maybe it's a corporate reason. Maybe it's a less than honest reason. Maybe it's anything. It's very difficult. Would you as a, uh, Mr. Desai, let but me phrase it this way. Would you as a brand consultant be okay if you were told these two facts? That last year company 450 crores, this year company 5 lakh rupees. What would your initial reaction be no, as a brand consultant? If you no, were the, dealing with a brand like this. The question I would, the, the, the question I would ask is that what, uh, what is the reason for the decline in valuation of your brand? Have you been caught with your hands in the till? Have you got bad media coverage? Have you played games? Have you got bad uh, relationships with uh, the rest of the cricket and cricket administration community? community? Because a brand can't go so bad in one year. Unless, of course, you know, you have a situation like Bhopal or whatever it is when the, the entire brand value declines to zero within seconds. So yes, there are many, many, many questions about this and you, you have to wonder why anybody would put themselves, uh, put themselves through such scrutiny by such ludicrous numbers and ludicrous figures. I, I, I just don't understand it. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Rajiv Desai is saying there that, uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to understand or comprehend why something like this would be done i mean the only uh, no, only just, just explanation at this moment that can come to light boria as well as mr chauhan is the fact that the company undervalued itself so that it has to pay a lesser amount that that is the only thing that on face value one can perhaps figure out at this particular yes yes mr desai you want to come in? no well I, I i guess i guess the 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 obvious conclusion that one can draw from all the things that have been said here is that this, this is done uh, this with a motive that may not be like Caesar's wife. That's, that's the other uh, uh, understanding I have of the devaluation of the brand. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. So this yes, Mr. Chetan John, you want to say something? See, uh, see, one has to uh, one has to tread very carefully, mm -hmm. and I think the BCCI will also uh, will tread very carefully. One, as Mr. Chima said, this matter is subjudicious, and uh, this uh, transfer or conflict of interest, mm -hmm. this is under the scrutiny of the Supreme Court. Absolutely. So I am sure, absolutely sure, that the BCCI will not do anything which will be irregular, which will be illegal, and which will be under the scrutiny of the Supreme Court because. There there is a body and th that so body and uh, that body consists of judges see so one has to be very careful and uh, and to BCCI or the governing council of the IPL will definitely keep in, in mind the interest of the BCCI. The BCCI in no way should, uh, should lose money. In case they lose money, well, I think the, BC, the IPL members, they are definitely asking for trouble. <laughs> Absolutely. Boria, IPL members asking for trouble. Uh, also, that point that was being made in this particular case, Boria, uh, it was the board of the BCCI, the general council, the governing council of the IPL that actually decided that no, we will not accept this valuation. We will not ratify this. Correct. <clears throat> so, Sanket, three questions again. One, if there was no change in the IPL's governing council and if the previous dispensation stayed on, what would have happened? Would this have been ratified? See the smile on Mr. Chima's face, see what Mr. Desai said, see what uh, Mr. Chauhan is saying. You know, uh, it's important. Was, was the board about to lose 50 crores 
if Chennai Super Kings is pegged at a thousand, was the board about to lose 50 crores and would this have gone unnoticed? Will something happen to the people who, who put it in that minutes of the 27th February meeting? Someone has to take ownership of this. The previous governing council has to take ownership of this and state how was this done. It's a different matter that the new governing council has rejected it. And then the question is, Mr. Chauhan, you've been part of the board. Now that it has been rejected, will there be an investigation? Will someone pull someone up saying, look, this was, this was not Should done there in the not be an investigation? Mr. Desai said, not in the best interests? Should there not be an investigation in this particular case, Mr. Chauhan? See, I, I don't think we should go so much uh, deeper into it. The proposal, the, the proposal has come and the proposal has been rejected. And uh, I think if they want to go further, if uh, Chennai, let us not uh, forget, Chennai Super Kings is a big, big brand. They have won the IPL many times. They have been runners-up also, and they they are a very strong side. You see, and uh, they, uh, and everybody. So all knows, the more reason. Uh, yeah. So, all the more reason if they and, and it belongs to a very, very powerful cricket czar. It's owned by the family of the cricket czar, Mr. N. Srinivasan. All the more reason we have seen in the past one year how Mr. N. Srinivasan's role under various circumstances has been in question. All the more reason, don't you think that there should be an investigation in this particular case as to how this undervaluation was allowed all this while till it was spotted by the recent governing council? Well, see, I, I would say that this depends on the IPL governing council. Uh, Mr. Uh, the, the, there's a person who is there. Mm. Uh, he's well known. Uh, let me also say, before the start of the tournament, uh, people were asking me, what is, who is your favorite team? And I said, uh, who, will the, who are the three favorite teams? I said, Chennai Super King is number one. Uh, that is what I said, that, you know, to win the IPL, this year you know that is the brand value and that is the team co composition they are a very strong side so I would say will people will have to go very careful because every decision which will be taken is under the scrutiny of the Supreme, of the Court. Supreme Court absolutely and, and because of that one has to be very careful in dealing with these and let it not be a bad business dealing let it be a let be a, let it be a transparent uh, dealing and uh, let, let the board get the income Okay, uh, I believe Mr. Rajiv Desai wants to say something. Uh, yes, Mr. Desai, you wanted to come in? Yes, you know, <coughs> sometimes uh, there is a clash which Mr. Chawan is saying between the value and the perception of the brand, mm -hmm. which is a strong team, it's a fabulous team, it has won so many times, etc. Et it's led by powerful, powerful and charismatic cricketers, so that's one aspect of it. The other aspect uh, refers to the business practices of the people who own the brand. Now, the, when the, those practices begin to impact or erode the brand value, a regulator can step in and say, uh, exactly what are you doing? Because, let's face it, uh, the CSK brand is bigger than the owners, bigger than... Uh, just as the IPL brand is big. So I think, you know, before we just do all this, uh, uh, how shall I call it, uh, uh, investigation into practices or uh, business practices and so forth, as Mr. Chawan suggested, we should keep in mind the value of the brand and make sure that any mud that is hurled at, at the owners of the brand does not stick to this brand because it would be really, really sad to see a brand collapse. No, no, but Mr. Desai, it's not here. Headlines today or the media is not the one which has valued or undervalued or overvalued or assessed the Chennai Super Kings. It well, is an I, independent I, I agency which that. has valued I, and I'm then after again. one year, it is the I'm Chennai sorry, Super Kings which has undervalued itself. So it's not really the media doing sorry, all this investigation. Okay, that's, that's not, I did not say, I did not say it's the media. I'm saying the business practices of the owners of the brand should they not be transparent? And it is in uh, yes, and it is incumbent upon them to clarify in order to protect the brand value. Okay. I, I didn't bring the media into it. Don't don't be don't be on such a short fuse. <laughs> Certainly not on a short fuse. Have a very nice day, Mr. Uh, Desai. Yeah. Wish you all the best. Let's. Uh, I mean, th this is this is an important story. Wouldn't you agree? Because as you said, it's a big brand, yes, it's a course. powerful brand, it has some very strong and powerful uh, players. Uh, it's an important part of the Indian Premier League and for it to undervalue itself to a point of 5 lakh rupees. And uh, we have at this moment, even as we speak and we'll go across to Rasesh, who will get us more details. We have with us this particular letter that we have in our hand.
this is obviously got to do with the shared transfer i don't know it's it's perhaps uh, won't be easy for you if, if we could zoom in this camera so that you, our viewers could actually see members approve the minutes of the ipl governing council meeting held on the 10th of february 2015 at cricket center wankhede stadium mumbai now uh, it says chennai super kings legal update item number three chennai super kings share transfer a letter dated 23rd february 2015 was received from chennai super kings limited the wholly owned subsidiary of india cements limited seeking approval to transfer the cskcl shares to a trust with three of its independent directors of icl as its trustees the names have in fact been given uh, including mr n shrinivasan former partner from fraser and ross for further distribution of such shares by such trust and the technical language actually goes on there is a crucial point which is point number g that the corporate guarantee will continue to ensure to the benefit of the bcci until the management of cskcl makes acceptable alternate arrangements as may be required by the bcci so that the interests of the bcci are fully secured now we'll try reaching that particular portion where uh, the team has in fact the the sale agreement has in fact been made for 5 lakh rupees so this is of course the assessment that has in fact been made uh, uh, in this recent meeting these are the minutes of that meeting where uh, the meeting eventually decide the indian premier league minutes of the governing council meeting held on 27th february 2015 eventually decided that uh, they will not in fact go ahead with this particular sales transfer now uh, let me quickly go across to rasesh mandani who joins us at this moment rasesh if you could just decode these documents the minutes of the meeting that basically go to show that the previous governing council of the ipl actually wanted to railroad this particular decision they proposed they accepted but the latest governing council eventually decided that this undervaluation cannot actually be ratified Sanket, these are the minutes, the minutes that we have access to are the minutes of the governing council meeting which was held before the AGM was held. So this was uh, the BCCI under the previous dispensation. And uh, when the proposal of uh, CSK wanting to change ownership from uh, India Cements wanting to change CSK into a wholly owned subsidiary was, uh, was uh, brought about, uh, you know, the, 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 the franchisee agreement makes it mandatory for the franchisee to pay a 5% of the sale proceeds to the BCCI. Now the Chennai Super Kings has clearly, the minutes of that meeting say has as valued uh, as CSK as 5 lakh rupees. So 5% of 5 lakh rupees which means the BCCI will get 25,000 rupees out of that uh, transfer of ownership which is you know quite bizarre when, when, when a layman looks at it. Uh, you know, the, the, the remember the valuations across the board in the market have been upwards of 400 to 500 crore rupees. These have been surveys done by independent agencies. Even if one looks back at the, at the Sunrisers Hyderabad, the last team that was sold uh, uh, and the, the eight franchisees you know that, that valuation came down to about 425 crore rupees you know, even if one looks at that benchmark and remember India Cements is, is, is a fairly successful team a fairly successful brand for them to be valued at that amount is quite bizarre and that minutes of that meeting also show that nobody nobody in that governing council meeting raised an eyebrow in fact the process that was followed was that the legal team of the BCCI brought it, took it forward to an, to an external uh, you know legal agency now, and Rasesh, that external legal agency brought Rasesh. out some conditions but none of those conditions touched upon the undervaluation Rasesh, part. I don't know whether this camera will be able to zoom in and actually show this is Mr. Chauhan. I'll, I'll show you this paper. These are of course the minutes as Rasesh was mentioning. These are the minutes of that meeting held uh, of the previous governing council. The topmost point, I don't know if uh, you, the viewers can see or not. I'll, I'll read it out for the benefit of our viewers. It says that CSKCL is agreeable to pay 5% of the sale price for the proposed transfer in brackets it says being 5% of 5 lakh rupees to the BCCI as per clause 10.4 of the franchisee agreement as in fact nominated by the novational agreement that's 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 actually the segment mr chauhan that actually mentions that the that the price of the company according to the sale transfer is 5 lakh rupees and they according to the rules will pay the due 5% to the BCCI that amounts to 25,000 uh, 25, rupees. That, that's actually the documents which is in possession of headlines today of the previous governing council for you. It's, I mean, uh, they would want to say that this is as transparent as it gets, but the new governing council actually does not agree. Before I come across to you, Boria wants to come. Yes, Boria. 
Sanket, very quickly, this was approved. That is why it was placed before the new governing council Absolutely. for ratification. So you must understand, this was approved by the previous GC. Now over to Mr. Chauhan. <laughs> Well, see, let, let me tell you honestly. Can I just come in? Yeah, for if a this was, if, in if, just a moment, Mr. Uh, Chima. If this up. was approved by the committee, I'm sure what you're talking about investigation, definitely there would have been investigation because, as Mr. Chima rightly said, the matter is sub judice. It mm -hmm. is under investigation. And the Supreme Court has appointed a committee to go into all these conflict mm -hmm. of interest. They have gone into. I really don't know how these earlier members have ratified this and, uh, you know, sent it for approval. For ratification i really don't know how they have agreed to all this because uh, this is a serious matter i right. i don't know what the and and the 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 present committee have done the right thing you see by not approving it by not mm. ratifying it mm. and they have done the right thing and i'm sure they should this proposal should be sent back again and as mr De, uh, desai says it has got it has to go to an independent um, value absolutely uh, independent appointed by anybody the board appoints or mutually that can be agreed between the chennai super kings owners and the bcci uh, an outside agency any outside agency absolutely to again revalue this and uh, come up with the correct with correct uh, uh, with the correct uh, uh, value before we take a short break we are uh, we are about to hit our break time my last question to you mr chima being a corporate lawyer being a lawyer who you know must be dealing with cases uh, similar to this one what eventually is your assessment particularly now that you are privy to this information about how the team was undervalued how it was accepted and how the latest governing council of the B of the uh, of the ipl actually decided that it cannot be allowed the ratification process cannot go ahead sanket i think uh, i'm going back uh, to comments by buria mr buria uh, you know, whatever BCCI may do in its wisdom now, uh, in terms of whether it wants to investigate, uh, I think the way forward that I see is that an independent valuation is done in the matter. And that independent Correct. valuation is presented before the Honorable Sup Supreme Court. Mind it, you know, we already have a precedent in place. Supreme Court in the Sahara matter has not accepted the valuations which the company had been presenting. Mm -hmm. You know, it is it's public knowledge, it's uh, the public uh, information that we have, right? They have, they have, they have not given, uh, you know, the relief to them because they didn't feel that the valuations were correct and there were other controversies. So I think let it be left to the A, to the wisdom of BCCI now to seek an independent va evaluation. And then I think we have the protection of the Honorable Supreme Court to see that Absolutely. whatever valuation is presented and 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 to seek their you know valuable uh, I mean, no, input on this you know whenever Absolutely. this uh, independent valuation reports are presented before the honorable supreme court they will make the judgment which one to pick up you know so i think uh, these are some some of the things that needs to to be done to resolve this absolutely you know, a lot needs to be form. done first of all an independent investigation independent assessment of the team and also the new board and the new governing council of the ipl to take up this matter in whichever way they deem fit because they are the ones on monday this monday they decided that five lakh rupees is certainly not what the price or the valuation of the chennai super kings actually is mr chima mr desai mr chetan chauhan Boria Majumdar as well as Rashesh Mandani. Thanks very much for joining us on this exclusive breaking news story.